Hi, welcome to another Vriksh Foundation video. Today we are going to talk about composting. Let's start with the basics. What is composting? Composting is a method of decomposing or breaking down organic waste. After being broken down, the waste becomes a nutrient-rich compost that can be used for plants, trees and in any garden. In other words, it is a method to recycle organic waste. Now, I'm calling this waste because as humans, that is what we call it, that is how we are conditioned to think of anything that is not useful to us. But in reality, in nature, anything that is an output of one process is an input for another. So, there is no such thing as waste in nature. It's just that as humans, we produce and accumulate copious amounts of a particular matter and don't have the sense to collect, dispose of, and recycle it efficiently and elegantly. Nothing on this planet is a waste. It is actually an input, and if treated properly and with care, it can go back safely and elegantly into our planet without causing problems. The challenge, of course, is that we don't take the time and effort to do so, and hence we see all the things around us that we don't know how to handle as waste. Have you ever heard or seen birds, animals and other creatures creating the kind and volumes of waste we humans do? Waste from other creatures naturally and normally integrates back into Earth without much fuss. The problem lies mostly with us, so we now need to catch up with other animals and learn how to naturally and gracefully dispose of our waste. We are almost 8 billion people on the planet. By the year 2100, we are predicted to be 11 billion. The amount of waste we produce will only increase. It is time we learn to deal with it ourselves rather than depending on someone else to take care of it for us. Much of the household waste we produce comes from what we consume. Most of it is wet waste, such as kitchen waste, vegetable and fruit peels, used tea leaves or coffee grounds, food leftovers, and so on. This is all biodegradable organic waste that can be composted. Today's video is going to focus on wet waste. On the other hand, dry waste includes paper, cardboard, plastic, rubber, glass, metal, packets, packaging and so on. Much of this can be given to the local waste collectors or kabadiwala. So let's turn the focus on handling the wet waste that comes out of our house and how we can compost it. For decomposing organic waste, you essentially need to add a combination of waste that provide the right mixture of nitrogen and carbon and create the right environment for microorganisms, bacteria, fungi and insects to work their way through the waste over time to decompose it. As we discussed earlier, in nature, nothing is a waste. Our household waste or output is an input or food for microorganisms to thrive on. The right amount of nitrogen and carbon makes the waste easily digestible to microorganisms. So what are the kinds of waste that add nitrogen and carbon to our waste pile and in what combinations should we use them? As a rule of thumb, brown waste such as dry or dead leaves and grasses, dead tree branches, straw, sawdust and dead plant or tree cuttings or clippings are good carbon rich additions to the composting mixture whereas green and wet waste such as vegetable and fruit peels, fresh cut grass, fresh pruned leaves, food scraps, tea leaves and tea bags, coffee grounds are nitrogen rich additions to the composting mixture. As an approximate rule of thumb, the advice on the ratio of browns to greens varies from 50-50, that is half browns and half greens, to four parts browns, carbons and one part green, nitrogen. Usually when you mix the brown and green wastes and let the composting pile sit for a few days, it should naturally start generating heat. This is a sign that the decomposing process is working. My suggestion would be to start with a 60% browns and 40% greens mix. Waste meat scraps and bones can be avoided as they can end up attracting a lot of rodents and pests to your compost pile. And oh yes, for those who are worried that this will cause a bad smell of any sort, be rest assured, it does not. The browns in the pile cancel out any natural decomposition odour that the greens produce. It is recommended to add some already prepared compost to the fresh compost pile to kickstart the microbial activity from a ready batch of compost. 
While the wet greens bring the required humidity to the compost pile environment to allow the microbes to thrive from time to time, especially if the weather is very hot and dry, you can also lightly water the pile to ensure humidity is maintained in the environment. You do not need to heavily soak the compost pile in water. Very light watering on top will do. Other than humidity, pass through of air or aeration in the compost pile is also important to allow microbes with the necessary oxygen to convert organic matter to compost uniformly. The most common way this is done is by turning the pile of the compost so that air is allowed in during the churn. Usually people just dig a pit and start the composting process in it or they may make an enclosure and start putting the browns and greens in it. I will be showing you another method in my next video, a link to which you can see on the screen here, in which I will be showcasing how to build an elevated composting pit. You will see that this method benefits aeration tremendously and produces rich and very fine compost. See you in the next video.